In this question here, we are told that uh, this is uh, a logo. A logo which has this particular shape that we are given at this point. And we are told that the area of this logo is 9 centimeters squared. We are expected to show that the perimeter P of this logo is P equals to 2R plus 18 over R and for you to earn 3 marks. We are also going to work out the stationary value of P uh, given that uh, R varies and then we are going to determine the nature of the stationary point. Now, something that we need to... L is given by the formula R theta, where R is the radius and theta is the angle that is uh, given at this point. And then you also need to remember that uh, area is... 1 over 2 r squared theta. So these are the most important formulas that you ought to know in order to work a question like this. Now let's just uh, now work it out because we know that um, arc length is equals to r theta and in this case it's r alpha because the angle was given as alpha. And perimeter is going to be equivalent to what? Perimeter is going to be arc length plus 2r. So we're going to say 2r plus r, r alpha. 2r plus r, 2r, this radius and this radius plus l, but l is r alpha. Um, you need also to agree with me that uh, we were given the area and the area was given as uh, 9 centimeters. Then we can be able, because whatever we want to show is in terms of R, so we are going to find what R uh, alpha is in terms of R. So we are going to say area is equals to a half R squared theta, but in this case, it's going to be a half R squared alpha because the angle is alpha and that is going to be equivalent to nine. So meaning that we are going to say now, R uh, times two both sides, we are going to have R squared alpha is equals to 18. But since we want to find R alpha, alpha in terms of R, our alpha is going to be 18 over R squared. So this is the expression we're going to use and substitute it at this particular point here. So meaning that uh, our perimeter is going to be 2R, R alpha, but our alpha is 18 over R squared, so it's going to be R times 18 over R squared. R will cancel with one R at this given point, so we end up having 2R plus 18 over R as the expression that we were supposed to show at this point. Let us look at uh, the next question. Given that R can vary, find the stationary value. Because at the stationary point, dp dr is going to be equal to zero. So meaning that we are going to find the derivative of uh, this expression that we have here. Remember our p is equal to 2r plus, plus 18 over r. So dp dr is going to be differentiating this term. We are going to remain with uh, differentiating this term. We are going to remain with uh, 2 plus differentiating this term is going to be negative 18 over r squared. All right. So because the way you differentiate remember this, we are going to have we are going is to equal to 2r plus 18 r negative, negative 1. Negative. So when you differentiate that, you take the power down negative 1 and then decrease the power by 1. You subtract the uh, 1 there. We are going to have dp over dr is 2 minus, because this 1 comes down here, 18r, negative 1 minus 1 becomes negative 2. But when you now take this power be below 18, you are going to have 18 over r squared, but this is a minus. So 
this is going to be dp the r is going to be 2 minus 18 over r squared but at stationary point at stationary point we know that dp dr is going to be equals to 0 and then we're going to take and equate this to 0 so it will be 2 minus 18 over r squared is equals to 0 and that means is 2 is equals to 18 over r squared times r squared both sides so we shall have 2 r squared is equals to 18 divided by 2 divided by 2 this and this we cancel out then we shall have our r squared is equals to 9 square root both sides our r is going to be equal to 3 centimeters so at the stationary point r is equals to 3 centimeters what does that mean that means if we are working out the value of the perimeter at the stationary point value of p at stationary point value of p at stationary point at r is equals to 3 our p is going to be equals to what our p is going to be equals to 2 r because p is 2 r uh, plus 18 over r so it will be 2 times 3 plus 18 over 3 and that one that's translating to 6 plus 6 and that is 12 centimeters that's the value of p then the next part is finding the nature of the stationary point the nature of uh, the stationary point can be determined by finding the second order derivative so we are going to say if a d p over dr is equals to minus 18 over r squared if you differentiate this it becomes d squared p over dr squared is going to be positive 36 r negative 3 which can be written as 36 over r power 3 that is now the second order derivative but since our r at the stationary point was 3 we can now find what is d squared p over dr squared um, at r is equals to 3 at r is equals to 3 this is going to be 36 over 3 power 3 and this is going to be 36 over 27 27 so which means that uh, our d squared p d r squared is greater than zero so which means the nature of this stationary point is minimum, minimum point. point because the second order is greater than zero so that is basically what you are supposed to do in order to work out this question if you are new to profline youtube channel consider subscribing so that anytime i'm going to upload an tutorial you'll be notified see you in the next video